What's up future millionaires? I'm Mike the Investor and today we're talking Ethereum Classic and Ethereum 2.0 and what's the difference? So let's dive right into it. All right, investors, welcome back to the channel. Now consider grabbing you some free Bitcoin by using the Voyager and the Coinbase link down below. Now there used to be only one Ethereum blockchain until year 2016, $50 million was stolen from the Dow. And this was one of the most pivotal cryptocurrency events in history to date. So let's take a trip down memory lane and see what happened during the Dow attack and what led to the two separate blockchains as we know today as Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. And then we will look at the difference between Ethereum Classic and Ethereum 2.0. So let's dive right in. So enter the DAO was one of the most pivotal moments in the ETC versus ETH split that has to do with the organization known as the Decentralized Autonomous Organization or the DAO. The DAO was essentially a decentralized sort venture capital or hedge fund that was going to fund decentralized applications known as dApps built on the Ethereum ecosystem. The way the DAO was set up is that it would give funders the power to say which dApps would get funding. Now it goes on to say here, I'm not gonna read all of it because I don't wanna bore you guys. I just wanna kinda highlight the bulk of everything here. Within the first month of the DAO's formation, it raised over 150 million Ether. Now that's pretty massive. At its peak, although the DAO raised around 150 million by crowdfunding, it has some serious security problems with the split function behind the DAO itself wasn't particularly airtight. And on June 17, 2016, some unknown person or persons took around $50 million. In other words, the system could have been broken into by anyone with a few basic skills. It goes on to say here, the hacker made a recursive function in the request, which essentially allowed them to repeat the request multiple times for the same DAO tokens before the transaction could be registered and it ran and ran until the third of the DAO's funds were siphoned out. At the time, the DAO had a massive percentage around 14% of the total amount of Ethereum in existence, with 50 million about a third of the DAO's initial funds were stolen. Now, the majority decision for a solution was that Ethereum needed to create a fork or stop the blockchain entirely and create something new from scratch. Now this something new is what we now see as Ethereum or also known as ETH. Ethereum Classic is, as the same name would suggest, the first Ethereum still using the original blockchain. Although a majority voted to fork the blockchain, there was still a small but significant percentage, roughly 10% of the people that were loyal to the original blockchain. The Ethereum chain that forked was able to get back the 50 million that was hacked. And from this diagram, you can see that Ethereum functions on a brand new blockchain and the vast majority of miners, users, and the protocol from the previous version of Ethereum use this new version. And the reason why is because the 10% or so of the people from the original Ethereum are relative in the shadows and are loyal to the concept of the immutable ledger. And ETC primarily has value because of the specular market, much like many other altcoins out there. Now you guys know if you watch any of my previous Ethereum Classic videos, you know I think a little bit different on why Ethereum Classic has value. So definitely consider checking out those videos. Now Ethereum, on the other hand, is more like a software company. Company. Ethereum primarily has value due to a mix of specular market, but more so due to its use case scenarios and community support. The Ethereum Alliance, for example, consists of billion dollar firms such as Accenture, JP Morgan, Microsoft, and UBS. This support in turn has added credit to ETH over ETC. Now, I would definitely agree with that statement because Ethereum has definitely blew Ethereum Classic out of the water. Now, I definitely hold both of these coins. I definitely think you should hold both of them. Now, Ethereum has definitely more of a promising side to it, but I have broke down some reasons on why I think Ethereum Classic will be very profitable in the long term. But now let's look at what is going to be the difference between Ethereum Classic and Ethereum 2.0 
once Ethereum switches to layer two known as proof of stake. So the first thing we're looking at is the cryptocurrency for both blockchains. Ethereum Classic and Ethereum 2.0 will both have their own native blockchain. Ethereum Classic is the ETC token or the Ethereum Classic token. And then we have Ethereum, which is the ETH token or the Ethereum token. So they both have their own native currency. So you will see a yes on the diagram, which moves us down to smart contracts. Remember that Ethereum is basically the new fork of the old blockchain. So they both are programmable blockchains, which allow D apps to be built upon them which moves us down now to the consensus mechanism. And this pretty much means what type of blockchain system they are using. So Ethereum Classic is staying on layer one, which is proof of work. And then we have Ethereum 2.0. Once they move over, we'll be moving to layer two, which is proof of stake. Which brings us to the next thing on the graph, which is their monetary policy. Now, until 2018, they had the same monetary policy, but 2018 Ethereum Classic made a change to mimic Bitcoin to have a max supply where there will only be only 210 million Ethereum Classic coins ever created. Now, Ethereum does not have a max supply, but it can be changed at any time, which brings us to the database of both blockchains. Ethereum Classic is focusing on the integrity of the blockchain and making sure it is working the way it should be, whereas E2.0 is more focusing on the scalability of the blockchain. That now brings us to the security of Ethereum Classic and Ethereum 2.0. So Ethereum Classic has the priority to preserve the integrity of the blockchain over performance and scalability, which is the complete opposite of E2.0. Ethereum 2.0 is going to prioritize scalability and which will be able to allow them to move as fast as possible for the different avenues that Ethereum will be doing, such as DeFi and other things that's going on on Ethereum. Now that brings us to the last thing on the graph here, which is the performance. As we know, Ethereum Classic is going for more integrity over performance and scalability, whereas Ethereum 2.0, the whole reason why Ethereum is moving from layer one uh, proof of work to layer two proof of stake is to be more scalable. So this is going to go to Ethereum 2.0. So in a nutshell, that is the difference between ETC and E2.0. Now definitely, as I said in the video, I definitely think you should hold both of these coins. Ethereum, of course, is the far winner by far. They are blowing Ethereum Classic out of the water, but from some previous videos that I've made on Ethereum Classic, you will know why I believe in the project still today. So if you're new to crypto and this is your first time hearing about the Ethereum and Ethereum Classic origin story and what led to the separate blockchains, definitely consider smashing that like button. Also get you some free Bitcoin by using the Voyager and Coinbase link down below. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm Mike the Investor. Remember to stay inspired, stay motivated, always invest in yourself, and I'm out.